I am also in bed with my tablet and my phone <laughs> to get them warmed up because they were also four degrees. Ah, the life of living in a big blue van. Oh. Yes, I still have my... Oh, I forgot to close it last night. I still have my um, propane heater, my Wave 3. It's 6 degrees in here, so I have to get it warm. Since I forgot to turn off the propane last night, I'm going to hold it for about 6 seconds and hopefully it'll light up. There we go. I have to hold it for... 45 to seconds to a minute or until it gets nice and red in front I don't know if you guys want to see that But I have to be careful because there always is a flare-up to keep my head away from it Of course, I'm talking to you so I'm not counting Ouch, my leg is hurting me Maybe there won't be a flare-up, but the longer we wait, the bigger the flare-up, so I have to be careful. The hardest part here is holding it. My right hand is starting to cramp a little bit. What an awkward angle, too, just because I'm videotaping this for you. Oh, I'm looking forward to my diesel heater when I don't have to go through this. It's getting pretty warm. We'll give it a bit more time. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's going. It's nice and hot. Let's point it towards my room. Lots of room here. Lots of room here. Doesn't need any room in the back. I think it needs four inches on either side, but there's a whole lot more than that right now. All right, I'm going to crawl back into bed now and finish or continue to work on editing my next video. Winter's here early, six o'clock in the morning. It's four degrees in the van. Ah, I'm looking forward to my diesel heater when I can flick the switch from my bed. That's the intention anyway. But in the meantime, this is what I have. I'll be starting the van here at some point as well. There's one or two other people sleeping in the, where I am, in their own vehicles. I know there's a bus out there anyway. It was out there yesterday, too. <laughs> one of the things that I do to distribute the heat around the van with my Wave 3 is I set up a little one of my clip-on fans and it's blowing on its lowest actually it's a variable setting which is absolutely what I wanted so there's no three setting thing it's variable so you can have any speed and it's blowing the hot air from the sky Oops, all the way to the back. And it really, really helps. This morning, because it was so incredibly cold, I did start the van to get it heated up in here. Now the heater is actually only on low. Yeah, it's on low right now. It'll maintain even though I have opened up some windows to get some air. Not air. Actually, I do have air, because I always have air when I have the propane on. But just to get some 
light in here. And that's the blue bus I was telling you about. It's been here for a couple of days that I know of anyways. I don't know how long. But he runs his motor a lot. And I'm about to do breakfast. I have to go look through my cooler to see what of the frozen stuff is thawing out and what actually needs to get eaten first. Often my meals are like that. If I have foods in there that should be eaten before other food do because of spoilage, I do that. So I'm going to go and check to see what's there. I know I have quite a bit of ready made foods in there so I have a feeling I'll be doing one of those. All right let's have a look here. Turkey a la king. Still a bit frozen. I'm going to have this one. It's actually not quite thawed. It's only been a couple of days since I put it in there. It was totally frozen. There's a bunch of other frozen things and my water bottles were frozen. But I'm going to do it. And of course I only have a frying pan so that's how I have to heat it up. Although I do have a, a stone pizza um, round thing. And I often put that on my burner. See, it's stone. I got it from Dollarama. I often put that on my burner. I have to warm it up slowly so it doesn't crack but that gives that little buffer between the flame and the frying pan so I think I'm going to do that today it actually takes quite a bit longer to warm up but that's okay I'm going to give it a try so And before I moved into Big Blue, I swore up and down I'd never use um, T-Fall, I guess, frying pans. Uh, but, you know, makes cleanup so much easier. I tried a ceramic one, but the pan or the finish on it just deteriorated very very quickly maybe I was using too high heat or something it didn't work out for me so I'm not going to do ceramic again unless of course I have to buy a really really expensive one I don't know but for now the tea fall but I just don't like to use them if they're deteriorating at all I have to keep them new I know it's waste I actually do give them away to a secondhand store so, so hopefully somebody else can get to use them and hopefully I'm not poisoning them It is getting warm. Still wearing my nighttime shirt. So it is morning. It's probably about 8.30 or something. Okay. I guess I could just put it in there. And of course I cook with lids all the time for some reason. I'm just a lid cooker. Always have been. And this particular frying pan didn't actually come with a lid. So I'm using my lid for my previous frying pan. It's too big, but it works.
I have to remember to take my garbage out today. I forgot to do it yesterday. And by garbage, I mean also my poop bags. <laughs> but I have a um, sealed container that I leave, put my poop bags in, that um, the smell is completely contained. It doesn't come out unless I actually open it, but I interchange the bags. I have two layers of bags in that poop bag and I just spray it. I have a Febreze spray I spray in it and I also change out the bags just whenever I feel like I need to. Was that too much information? It's the way I do it. I'm going to turn this up a little because I think it's time. Whoops, wrong way. I'm doing this backwards because I want you to see. Normally I'm on this side of it. Warm up that water again. I've already made my tea for the day, my hot tea. And that was leftover water. So I think I'm going to have, um, I don't know, do I dare move you? Sorry, you're right near my bells. You might get belly things going on. Do you see me down here? Sort of. Let me get rid of some stuff here. Right in here is <laughs> my stool. I put my nighttime clothes on there. Inside here, of course, are my is for my food stuff, which may not be food stuff if I decide to use that as my diesel heater box. That might happen. Anyway, do I want? Yeah, I'm going to have calf loop today. back at some point. By the way, eggs generally don't have to be refrigerated. Maybe the store-bought ones, I don't know, a bit more because they're washed. These are farm eggs, so pretty sure they're not as washed as the commercial ones. So they, and if they're, the farm eggs are not washed, they have a, a kind of a waxy kind of a coating. Sorry about that. To re get you in there again. I got this clip on um, phone holder from Dollarama. It's not too bad, but it does shake like it's not stable. I have to get, turn that off because it's making steam in here. Let's do my cap lib. in there. Normally I do this beside the open window, but the open window isn't in your view. All right, what's going on in here? treated myself again again I don't I don't always often I use my uh, what is it this one is the oat milk you often use that in my coffee alternative but I did buy some cream yesterday I buy 33% cream like the whipping cream and I use a lot less of it than if it's table cream. 
Um, I have to be careful how much milk I use because I get really mucusy. I think I'm a little bit allergic to milk. Even though my breakfast today has a milk creamy sauce on it. I just have to be careful that I take breaks between using milk. Like if I use it a lot, then I just don't use it for a week or so. Yeah, it's starting to break apart. Nice. I'm very fortunate. <clears throat> there is a, in my little hometown, Duncan, there is a store, a little place called Couch and Green Community. And connected to the Couch and Green Community is a little refresh store where they take in um, produce and other stuff from grocery stores that are about to be thrown away and they re, re, you know, clean it up and resell it. And, but also connected this to this community at the moment, anyway, actually all through COVID, and I'm still on the program, I get $25 a week worth of food from there. I get a coupon for $25 and they just get, they have a grant and I guess they keep the grant going as long as they can. That's how I get that pre-made meals from that beautiful, oh right, I didn't tell you the Crouch and Green community has a commercial kitchen uh, involved in it, like attached. They have a big room for a commercial kitchen, so they cook that food in their big commercial kitchen. I love coffee. You've seen me say that before. <laughs> if you've watched my other videos, you've definitely heard me say that. I haven't actually had a coffee for several weeks now. I think I'm allergic to it. I mean, what else is there? Because within a week after, usually five or six days later, four days sometimes, I have a reaction. Isn't that the strangest thing? It's, But the reaction is, um, I think it depletes my immune system or something. Because at that point, I have to fight off a flu or a cold. And last time I drank a coffee, at, man, it was coming on strong. But I don't get colds and, colds and flus otherwise. So, and it, this is several years now. So I've been, you know, relating this to my coffee drinking for several years. It's not something I'm just making up and think this is what's going on. Now I know for sure because it's happened many, many times over the years. And the relationship is definitely there. But I kind of getting an urge to have another real coffee sometime. I'm not at all stuck on breakfast foods only for breakfast. In fact, most of my breakfasts are veggie stir fries. <laughs> Lots of veggies and some, often a couple eggs with it for the protein part or if I have some cooked sausages or something I'll stick that in there or just whatever I have I just add a protein in there but I do still have some toast with it too another thing that's different from when I was living in sticks and bricks to living in the van as I never bought jam almost never occasionally then, then I would eat it and then a year later I'd buy another jar kind of thing. Um, mainly because I have to watch my sugar intake. And in the house I just told myself you don't eat jam. Even though I love it, I love the taste. But when I was getting ready to move into Big Blue, I told myself I'm going to treat myself to some jam and specifically some marmalade and specifically Seville orange marmalade because I don't like the other marmalades or three fruit marmalade is good too like grapefruit lemon and orange or something but the Seville orange marmalade so I did actually my first jam I think was a local jam a locally made one really delicious with local berries or I can't remember what it was that was a year and a half ago 
year and a half. I've been in the van for a year and a half, you guys. Anyways, ever since then, I like to have jam on my toast in the morning. Yeah. Oh well, it's my life. I love living in big blue. <laughs> All right. It's almost there. It's pretty perfect. I should be adding veggies to it. Actually, I am going to. I bought some spinach yesterday that has to be eaten. So I'm going to chop up a bit of spinach and throw it in there. I don't cut on this where I don't cut on this board in my sticks and bricks I did but since I got these little ceramic knives from Dollarama they're so sharp and this is actually not hardwood so I was cutting up the cutting board and I didn't like it so now I got a cutting board and this is a really nice cutting board too from Dollarama. Good old Dollarama. All right, I just got interrupted by a phone call from my van insurance. I had to make, a, make an appointment to renew my van insurance. It's due in a few days. Okay, this is really getting hot now, so let's get it in there. Yeah, this is bubbling. So I think I was saying, with my greens, I basically just wilt them. I don't cook them a whole lot. Because cooking does destroy nutrients. almost ready so I'm going to go and enjoy my breakfast and hope you enjoyed my impromptu show of my unusual breakfast this morning see you later I've had a visitor kitty yes yes you like it this kitty loves it in my van I'm parked at a friend's house at her driveway. And I often have this cat laying on my bed. I've even had him, I've even had to chase him out at night because he gets so comfortable. I chase him out so I can get to bed. Just be careful of that eater, kitty. This kitty loves it in here. I've never actually driven with it, him, so I don't know how he'd like the... Well, I can't even think like that. It belongs to my friend.